welcome to example four in our matrix topic. We're looking at the unit matrix here. Uh, we think about unit as being uh, in mathematics as being to do with the number one, and it's absolutely the same here. So the unit matrix is such that if you multiply it by another matrix, then that matrix value stay the same. Okay. Um, so and and although we know that uh, matrix order, multiplication order is important. In the case of the unit matrix, it's not. Multiplying uh, the, uh, the unit matrix at second uh, makes no difference than if it's first, okay? And on the screen here, we've got the, com what the, the elements of the unit matrix, and we're only dealing with square matrices. You can't have a unit matrix that's not square. So if it's a two by two unit matrix, you notice that all of the elements of this principal diagonal, so the top left and all the way down diagonally through a one, all the other elements are zero. So in a three by three matrix, we've got three ones through that diagonal and everything else is zero. That will have the effect. If you multiply it by another matrix of the same uh, order, then that matrix will remain unchanged. Uh, so why would we use it? What's the point in it? Well, there are uh, there is a point to it. There's very uh, there's various applications of it. But um, here is a, an, a question, just a a little bit of a theoretical matrix uh, question. It allows us to do a little bit of multiplication and addition. It says, given that uh, matrix A is one, two, three, one, show that A squared. It can be expressed as being a multiple of the original matrix A plus some multiple of the unit matrix I, okay, where I is a unit matrix and P and Q are some multiples or integers. So, first of all, we want to establish what A squared looks like. So, in this uh, question here, I would write down A squared is equal to matrix A multiplied by matrix A. They are conformable, of course, because they're both square matrices. And in order to get the four elements of the answer, I'm going to do 1, 2 multiplied by 1, 3, first of all. So 1 times 1 is 1, plus 2 times 3 is 6. That gives me a total of 7. Uh, underneath, using row 2, 3 ones are 3, plus 1, 3 is 3, 3 and 3 is 6. On to column 2. I'm going to do 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, add them together, we get 4, and then we get 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is also 7. Okay, so there's my matrix A squared. Okay, so what we want to do is to show that we can somehow get an equivalent from looking at a multiple of the original matrix A plus QI. Okay, so what would that look like? We need to think about P A plus Q I. What would that look like? Well, we know that matrix A is 1, 2, 3, 1. And we're going to multiply that by P. And we know that I is the unit matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. So if we multiply that in, we get... Uh, P times 1 is P, and then we get 2P, and then we get 3P, and then we get 1P. Plus, then Q times the unit matrix would just be Q, 0, 0, Q. And we can further simplify that by putting, adding them together. The uh, orders are the same. So we can add the element, first element P plus element Q to get P plus Q. In the row below it, we've got 3p plus 0 is just 3p. In the second column, we've got 2p plus 0 is 2p. And then p plus q is just p plus q. So what we're able to do, we're saying these two expressions are equal to each other. What that means, of course, is that we, the matching elements, 7, has to equal p plus q. And it means that 4 has to equal 2p. 7 equals p plus q doesn't give us a solution because p and q could be anything, but you'll notice that we can isolate the fact that 2p is 4 or 3p is 6 in order to be very definite about one of the solutions. So if we're comparing, we can say uh, equating terms 
and you can take any terms that suit your need. We can say here that 2p is equal to 4, therefore p must have the value 2. And then we can introduce that other one that we were swithering over, p plus q equals 7. We now know because p is 2, that q therefore is equal to 5. In other words, in conclusion, we can say that a squared is equal to 2 a, because that's p times a, uh, plus qi, well q is 5, so we've got 5i. Okay, so that's us using the, the unit matrix. Uh, at the moment, you'll see it cropping up, uh, and that's as one of the ways in which we can use it. You just need to know at the moment what the unit matrix looks like. Okay, 